Hello everyone. I'm going to start to show some of my previous projects. What I'm interested in photography is looking for a perfect order in the world. These pictures are from southwest of England. I was an Erasmus student there. And the second project is about shipwrecks, also from UK. Usually I like to be as much analytic as possible. We are jumping to India. I really like to use large format cameras. For this technique you have to be really focused and your model also. And this lots of uh, attention is concentrated into your final image. Um, my project is a really personal series, so I have to talk about myself a little bit. When I was around 20, I was a really happy guy. And I'm still there, but since I grew up, I have a lot of fear and anxiety. Okay, I'm jumping from this photo. So, some people have depression, they don't like their life, but my anxiety is coming from happiness. That I really love every second of life and I don't want to lose it. I'm also addicted to control, but there are things that you just can't control in your life. Time, for example. I feel every year my birthday is just coming faster and faster and it makes me really frustrated. Uh, in a more traditional society where the people have strong belief, maybe it's easier to accept mortality, but without any religion is more difficult. And it's not easy to find our own faith. Uh, the first project where I realized that my fears and what I'm interested in photography has a strong connection, it's one as a portrait series. I wanted to present that uh, all of us are same vulnerable. There is a unit as human and we can't escape from this unit. Doesn't matter how rich you are, how clever you are, in a way we are the same vulnerable. After this I started another project which was even more closer to my fears, one step closer. And the topic was that every uh, day we are one day closer to our death. I didn't want to make uh, illustrations for fears or illustration about mortality. It was more, I, I was looking for calm. Uh, if I can uh, notice that everything is a part of a perfect system around me, it can help me to be more relaxed. Um, during this project, I bought a new 108 large format camera and I started to take pictures about my grandmother only for testing this new camera. And she was diagnosed with dementia already this time and it was a few months to understand that she's really connecting to my original topic. So that's how the final project started. It's a mixture of our story. And why is it really connected? My biggest fear is that one day we will disappear, that uh, our per personality will gone. And it's exactly what's happening with my grandmother. We can feel how she's losing her, herself slowly every month. And uh, why is dementia is special? Because uh, the disappearing can be a really long uh, period, which makes it possible to follow the whole process. My aim was to find peace and acceptance through observing the changing of my grandmother. Um, this is the series that I applied, and the pictures what I've done in the last uh, one year. And you can see the whole series. Uh, they are a lot of things together, but we can divide it for three bigger uh, parts. The first part is uh, my grandma. If you have a grandmother with dementia, it can be really hard to take care of her. It's a daily task and no time for organizing trips and make fun. But because of the project, uh, we visited really exciting places. And uh, I think it helped a lot for my grandmother. It was a good impact on her. And uh, maybe uh, the loss of stimulation could help to slow down her dementia a little bit. What is really interesting, that before her disease, 
she looked like a very simple old woman. But after, uh, because of dementia, she started to, she, she changed a lot, and she started to be more and more interesting. What she was saying, how she is moving, how she looks on the pictures, she started to become more and more like a contemporary art object. Uh, not the object, but she's really interesting. Um, um, yeah. The shootings were planned. I, I always uh, figured out the locations, the um, poses. I was making drawings before the shootings. And usually I knew exactly what I want. The next part, uh, journey, was completely different. I never had any plan. I always looking for uh, random things, uh, accidentally. And um, traveling is very important in my life. If you are at home in your daily life, uh, it's quite safe. But if you start a journey, anything can happen. And it can teach you to accept losing control. Um, if we, we can experience a lot of things and it will change us. Um, during the trips with my grandmother and my journeys, we, we were both pushing our own boundaries. Last the part is uh, family. Family is a good uh, indicator to feel the passing of time. Uh, it was hard to use to that my sister became a mother and in this moment my father became grandfather immediately and um, yeah, he's my father and uh, the changing of family roles and how the members are depending on each other is it can show the circle of life very well um, so uh, how the final series is working if we put together the three different parts, I think uh, they can help each other to give a new and uh, a deeper meaning. Um, in this year, first time in my life, I tried to make uh, analog uh, darkroom prints from my color negatives and I totally fall in love. In one year, it changed completely how I, I thinking about the final image. And not all of the prints were successful, so I had to take classes from a chemist to learn how can I process my negatives in a perfect way. And I also bought a new film processor machine. And it's important uh, that not all of the prints are da uh, um, darkroom prints. That's why I had to improve myself, but two thirds of the, the pictures. And why is it uh, interesting, because um, this technique, because um, it's co connecting to my, my uh, topic. Um, before I, I wanted to control everything uh, with, like, with Photoshop and make digital print. But uh, with analog printing, you have to accept uh, um, mistakes and uh, imperfect things. So it was a good uh, uh, challenge for me. Um, the installation. Uh, in the beginning, I was thinking to make some cloud pattern and uh, after I thought maybe some clouds, uh, some closed system would be better. I made a test, I could realize that uh, the sizes are not really perfect, so it's the, uh, the final installation. There is one photo that I want to explain a bit more, because it's uh, outside of the three bigger parts, but it could be the essence of the whole series in one picture. It's a um, Birth of the dragonfly. I, it's a planned photo. I called a lot of biologists uh, that maybe they can help, but they were really confused. And finally, they met with this guy who is one of the biggest expert of uh, dragonfly in Hungary. So he he catched some larvas for me, and um, seven dragonflies born in our living room. <laughs> you can imagine my wife. Like, she wasn't really happy, and I I could capture first with the digital camera and after I decided to try with a medium format film camera and uh, the last dragonfly was what I could capture so uh, it was really interesting to, to see the whole process
photo book. I, I wanted to make a photo book, but when I, I made the raw uh, model, I just realized it doesn't really help, and uh, I just left the book. I'm still thinking uh, about the book, but in the future, but maybe it will be an album and not a photo book. Uh, instead of photo book, I started a video project, which is not... Uh, so it doesn't give any extra for the series. It's more, I wanted to show the project from another perspective. It's, uh, it's our personal view. Uh, before the project, I didn't have, we didn't have a really deep connection with my grandmother. And um, I think our relationship uh, improved a lot. So now I just show you the video because uh, it's better. And um, she has a, a brother, and he also has dementia, so you will see the com some conversation uh, in the video. Servus, Janci bácsi! Te ki vagy? Hát a legkisebb egri lány, a te hugod! És hol volt a fogad utoljára? Most itt valahol... Akárhol kell még Jancsi volt a legkisebb fiú. Ki volt? Jancsi. Hát én vagyok a Jancsi. Te Jancsi vagy? Igen. És te nem a Pista vagy? Nem. A Pisti már meghalt. Az egész fejembe bele kell bújni. Vagy most nyomdál Lemegy a nap, nagyon gyere. Jó, óvatosan, lassan gyere. Nem most ne végig olyan lesz. Gyere, nagy, gyere, 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 gyere. Nem fázik a kezed, nagy. Nem fázik. Van egy startkérő. Vagy a fölötte lévő feketés. Én most 30 kokos. Egy új időt elindítsak. Ah, én ahhoz már öreg vagyok. Az én most ezt rá, ezt... Na, melyik az emlékszel? Oda megyek már itt. És akkor te a Jancsi vagy? Régen ő lehetelek meg. Hát régen bizony. Ülj él ide. És ott vannak lent a szita kötők? Érdekes a bőr is. A világra jön. Kifelé, hogy a fejemről fogyogott le a fehér, apró kis virág. Lehetünk. Én nem hiszem, hogy normális vagyok. Te a Jancsi vagy? Én? Aha. Nem vagy benne biztos? Miért kérdezed, hogy az vagyok -e? Hát leltározók. És hol, hol, hol tart a, a, a lelte? Hol tart a szalad? Hát ott tartok, hogy te Jancsi vagy. Uh -huh. Jó, hát akkor jövünk. Ott történik a csoda.
A szita kötőt jön ki a gépből. Hát a születését láttam. Na mit szólsz ehhez? Jó pofa. És a hajam miért olyan fehér? Mert ennyire fehér a hajam. Na szia, jó legyél. Te ar arra sétálsz? Arra. Én, én Nekem meg erre. erre. Te meg arra mész jó, a kerítésén. Én meg odáig megyek a mintáig. El ne tévedj. Nem tévedek el. Hú. Te mész jobbra, itt nem babám, én meg megyek balra, sárba taposom a fénykétedet, nem veszlek el soha. Semmi babám, semmi így kell ennek lenni. Mindenféle csókos szerelemnek vége szokott, Tenni. It was the first time that I heard my grandmother singing. So uh, after four years, when I was working a lot on my fears, I can say that I feel more calm. Some weeks ago, when I tried to write a new description about the project. I realized I'm using past tense um, when I was writing about my fears. What is really important, if my grandma would die any time, I wouldn't feel that I missed her. I mean that we wasted our time. We have lots of nice memory from the last three years. So I feel the whole project was worth it. And thank you very much. Thank you for the attention.